So, Nikki Haley endorses Marco Rubio. Whoa, what a shocker. Just what a total shocker. I mean, traitor, rhino, Republican endorses traitor, rhino, Republican. Wow, that's a, it's just unbelievable. I can't believe it. You see, this is why lifelong Republicans like me hate the Republican Party. I'm 58 years old. I'll be 59 years old next month. I have never voted any other ticket than straight Republican. Right down the line. And I am getting tired of the Republican Party saying one thing and doing another. You know, I'll never forget like years ago when we got the, uh, I first heard about George Bush. You know, I got a flyer in the mail with him and his wife and nice little color picture about how he was going to run for the nomination. And he called himself a compassionate conservative. And you know, when I heard the term compassionate conservative, the first thing I thought was, wow, my wallet already is hurting. I had this pain in my butt where my wallet was. The two parties aren't any different anymore. And that's why us Republicans are fed up. You know, I held my nose. I voted for his father, George Sr. I voted for uh, in twice, first time around where he won, second time around where he lost. I vote for Bob Dole. I vote for John McCain. I voted for, um, who would be next? Romney. You know, I held my nose and I voted for him. I'm telling you right now, I'm a lifelong Republican and I don't think that I'm that odd as far as other Republicans too that I will not vote for Marco Rubio. I just won't. So if they do their little, you know, conniving and they steal the nomination and, you know, he's the, you know, the Republican candidate for the 2016 election, I'm just not going to vote or I'm just going to like, or I'm going to vote third party, but I will not vote for Marco Rubio. He's a traitor to the conservative cause. Point, case in point, you know, he's the Tea Party darling. You can listen on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and you can watch and listen to him talking about, you know, how he can't justify uh, making illegal aliens legal because that just gets more people to try to do the same thing because they have no respect for our laws. And how about the people that, like, you know, uh, did it legally? And now what does he do? He gets into the gang of eight. And what do they try to do? They try to shove illegals down our throat. Haley, Nikki Haley with her, with her Confederate flag crap. You know, I'm so tired of the PC crap that whatever the media and the left says that we're supposed to be concerned about at the moment, everything else is supposed to go by the wayside and we're supposed to, you know, just be outraged at something whether it's the Black Lives Matter garbage or the whole uh, Islamic immigration thing, you know, and how, you know, racist people are because they don't want more Islamics in the country or whether it's the Confederate flag thing or what's it going to be next and Republicans just go right along with it. I'm tired of it. I want a leader. I thought Trump may be that leader, but now he's doing the same thing. I, for one, am getting sick of hearing Trump talk about Cruz's birth, you know, and how he's not a citizen and about how he stole, you know, the caucus from, um, from, uh, from uh, Ben Carson. And, you know, I'm just tired of it. I want, a rep I want a candidate that's going to stand up for me, the average guy. That's what I want. Right now, I think that guy is Ted Cruz. Some people out there may think, oh, you're crazy and all this, but Cruz is the man if you want a constitutional uh, guy who respects the Constitution and who will look out for the rights of the American citizen. That's my two cents. This is Jeff Haynes with My Two Common Sense. <laughs>
Thank you.